Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Are you a desk worker and you are unfortunately feeling neck pain? Well, we're going to talk about this in this video. So keep watching if you want to learn more about neck pain and the science also behind it. So knowing that we have neck pain is one thing, but knowing how to deal with it is another thing and it depends on how we think. So the first thing, so there's actually two, two types of, we can say, mentality. So there's one that I would say is number one, which is a narrow perspective of a problem. So having this narrow perspective is basically believing that a problem is, the solution of a problem is around the problem itself. So basically, if we have neck pain, well, the solution is should be around the neck. And having the other perspective, which is the broad perspective, is basically having this, the opposite, uh, we can say, way of thinking, which is thinking that there's many solutions or many factors of a problem within a problem. And so last time, so you will see within this video, which one is better, which mentality is better. So last time we talked about we talked about protraction. We talked about the fact that slouching was not the same thing as pro protraction of the neck. And if you haven't seen this video, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can watch it. And we now know more or less that we can create muscle imbalances whenever we are seated for long hours and mostly whenever we're looking at a computer. And so, Last time we talked about the neck and this time we are going to dig deeper and we're going to talk about the section below the neck, which is the trunk. And so the a body principle that you really need to take into account whenever we are talking about pain is the fact that body joints and all the, the we can say the, com the components in the parts in your body work together in harmony. And whenever one as tiny as it is, don't, don't work or doesn't work, it can actually affect the whole body. So this is really important to take into account. So if we have neck pain, probably uh, probably the, the solution or the, the, the actually the, the, the place where there is an impairment or, or problem probably is not really there. It's somewhere else. And so... Taking this principle into account can help you all to manage pain and basically have a better strategy to deal with it. And so last time we talked about basically forward head posture. We talked about slouching, neck extension, and neck protraction. And so this forward head posture is pretty common among desk workers, but basically is the most common postural problem in the neck. So if you have neck problem, you might have forward head posture, but you might have also other things too. And so this is why in this video, I'm I will talk about the trunk. And so forward head posture can lead to migraines and chronic neck pain. So if you have been dealing with neck pain for more time that that you you have been thinking about so months and years well probably you might have forward head posture or something else right and so this video was basically just a little just to give you a little idea that, that forward head posture and thoracic kyphosis is basically related and so Thoracic kyphosis is this rounded posture of the, we can say, the thoracic, the, the, the trunk, we can say. And so having this in mind is pretty, pretty important because both, both sections, so the neck section and the thoracic, because they are connected, they are affected by the, the posture, right? So if one is misaligned, the other one will follow. And so whenever we want to treat this problem, we have to think and 
treat both of them, right? And so this that was it for this video. So next video is going to be actually probably more interesting because I'm going to talk about some exercises. So to basically help you out with this thoracic kyphosis and the neck which is related. And so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. So here or here, somewhere. But uh, if you see the, the, the Kintashi logo, this is the spot to subscribe. If you, if you enjoyed this video, you will probably enjoy the next ones. So see you next week for another video where I will talk about the exercises to do. So take care of yourselves and see you next week.